What's going on YouTube? K-Rob here back with another Blue Lock manga reading chapter 247 originality. Thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all been showing me on this channel and on this series, bro. We are on the road to 5k. By the time this video is uploaded, we might have already hit 5k. So thank y'all so much. Every single one of y'all that has joined the community, I highly appreciate y'all for real. Without y'all, this channel would not be anything, bro. So I highly appreciate y'all for giving me a chance and showing me endless love and support. And because we are about to hit 5K, I decided that every day this week, besides Saturday and Sunday, we will be doing JJK manga readings, bro. Y'all showed mad love to that last JJK manga reading video. And I just want to thank y'all, bro, so, so much. I did not expect that manga reading to get so much love. So I'm going to be bringing you guys strictly JJK manga readings for the rest of the week, bro. So thank y'all so much. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all once again. And without further ado, let's jump right into some blue lock manga reading. All right, y'all, here we go. Chapter 247, Originality. What does it say? Nagi and Makage are dragging their feet too much. No wonder their salaries are down. <laughs> no way the Blue Lock fandom got put in the first panel, bro. <laughs> All the fraud watchers are on the first panel, bro. Super goal by the one-hit wonder, Sashiro Nagi. Huh? Nagi and... <laughs> Yo... Not the subreddit, bro. They got the Blue Lock subreddit on the first panel. That's so funny. Bro, my boy Chris Prince caught a stray. Do something, Chris Prince. <laughs> oh, no. Nagi, the one-hit wonder. This is winter bus, Nagi. That super goal must have been a fluke. What the hell are these guys doing? Nagi, can we talk for a second? Yeah, sure. Now that I'm down to 16th place with 34 million, it's starting to feel really dicey. With the cutoff point at 23rd, with 18 million. You're still in the safe zone with 40 million. If we mess up next game and go down again, we could end up at 24 for lower, which is the real danger zone. We need to put up results in the final round. We have to keep go- Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Huh? Rio, we need to change. I've been feeling a bit off ever since we won the first round. Doesn't Nagi look like someone that only stars when surrounded by amateur? Dang. The geniuses disappear. I can't get that fervor to come back. I've been feeling lost. I believe in you, Shashiro Nagi will survive. Nagi is back. What a wonderful goal once again. Good luck, Shashiro Nagi. But the moment didn't wait for me. And my nemesis is we're getting further and further ahead. If we don't keep changing, we will never reach the world's number one spot. Dang, wait, that's cr Look at this panel. Hold on. Nagi, let's change, Ryo. Give me some new heat. Yes, I have an idea. I feel like the way, the one way that Nagi can lock back in is like he has his own problems he has to deal with. He also has to challenge himself too. I think that they can work together, but Rio has to stop being like that coddler to him I, in a way. Like I feel like Rio is kind of like too too worried about Nagi's feelings in a way. I'm, I'm not sure. Like I don't think that's the right thing to say about it, but it's just that feeling I get whenever I see those two together. He kind of like babies him a little bit but now he's the type of person where he can't be baby if he if he's kept in his comfort zone he's gonna lack you feel me whenever he wasn't with Rio there was always somebody that would try to like challenge him or like up the notch you know what I'm saying for instance like Isagi being his teammate like Isagi wasn't the coddler on his team you know what I'm saying he was always trying to challenge Nagi to be better and that's what kept Nagi going you know what I'm saying just like Isagi trying to egg him on like yo like come on we have to win this like like this is this is life or death basically you know what I'm saying so I think that's what Nagi really needs is just to be challenged more he needs to he needs to figure out himself and figure out what's good for him he, he's a lazy genius you know what I'm saying like he has to he has to be challenged so I think this is a good thing for Nagi I feel like he's going to get out of his fraud watch era I just want to see him thrive you know what I'm saying I hate seeing Nagi get this type of hate you know what i'm saying i it, it's not it's not like it's not his character bro you feel me he's a he's a prodigy man so i can't wait to see what he got in store for us next yes i have an idea we'll go with the style that has a number of options based on this basic form of offense and defense that's the strategy let me say this whoever comes in second will not be remembered if you're not number one you won't leave your mark on this world dang my boy Noah Noah said, yo, if you ain't first, you're definitely last. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bastion Munich, we will win this and make our mark in history. Yes. I'm heading to bed. I'll pass the baton to a special guest. Aw, uh, Ego. 
Oh, go ahead, dictator. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> I like how they were both teammates too, bro. Like this, this is funny. Like now that I know the relationship between these two, it, it makes it so much better. Get the hell out and go to bed, you bastard. <laughs> Yes, yes, good night. All I gotta say is, bro, this upcoming speech from Ego is going to be peak, bro. Anytime this dude talks, it's peak. It's a peak dialogue chapter, bro. Mr. Ego, hey, hey, diamonds in the rough. I wanted to personally say a few words before the final round. First of all, when this Neo Egoist leak started, I gave you the key to win, remember? Um, proof of originality. That's right. Hitting the barrier of the real world as you continue to fight through the salary bidding system. Now, what does originality mean to you guys? Huh? Your own personal playstyle? Or maybe how much money you're worth? No, those are just superficial answers. Originality equals hunger. You were born with it. It wasn't taught to you. What do you hunger for is what makes a person's originality. Like, bro, anytime I read an ego panel, it just gives me chills, bro. Cause like, I feel what he's talking about. Like, it, it makes me feel motivated and hyped to go out there and do something. <laughs> I'm not even playing. <laughs> In order for you to win this Neo Egoist League, you had to rationally commit to a required role, follow your own ideals, and voluntarily destroy and recreate yourselves over and over again. You've been forced to ask, what do I want to do? Do I want to be a regular? Do I want to desperately survive? Do I want to beat that guy? Do I want to be number one? I like this. I like this right here. I, li I like this Kunigami panda right here. I like, and I like what it says next to him too, right here, bro. Do I want to beat that guy? Let's just say, bro, if Kunigami ends up outclassing Shido in this next match, I highly guarantee you we will get that old personality of Kunigami back. Quote me on it. Quote me on it. It's going to be a full circle moment if Kunigami can outclass Shido in this next match, bro. I really feel like do I want to beat that guy is directed to Shido, for sure, bro. Or it could be Isagi. But I feel like why would it really be Isagi when the person that really turned him into this was Shido? You know what I'm saying? So I'm 100%... I'm not going to say 100. I'll say 99.9%. .9%, you know what I'm saying? So it might as well be 100. 100% 100 sure that this is directed to Shido for sure. Bro. The hunger that has been revealed here is now your originality. The world is waiting. The radiance of a footballer. Dude. For the challenging focus of yours. Oh my god. The ones that keep fighting through this crazy continuous frenzy. I call them professionals. So, my hungry egoists, are you ready to shine? Oh <laughs> Yo, chapter 248, final fight. Let's go, y'all. We're right there. We are right there. We are so close to peak lock, bro. Well, there y'all have it, folks. Chapter 247 of Blue Lock. If y'all did enjoy the chapter, please do like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on this chapter. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. We've had a lot of dialogue chapters to build up towards this match, and I feel like these dialogue chapters are very, very important and have been very, very informative to the story. So I, I really do enjoy these type of chapters for real. I know a lot of people don't really like dialogue chapters and they're more like into like the games and, and all the action and stuff. Like I understand too, bro. The games are fire. Like that that's peak for real. But I feel like as a story and in, in order to like have a have a progression in a story, these dialogue chapters are very much needed so we have an understanding when we go into the game. You know what I'm saying? So it just makes the game 10 times better, bro. It, it's, it's like the foundation to the game, you know? Thank y'all so much for watching. I highly appreciate every single one of y'all, bro. Road to 5K, we're almost there. Like I said, bro, as a thank you to you guys, we will be doing straight JJK manga readings for the rest of the week, bro. Thank y'all so much once again. Stay cheerful, stay motivated, and stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.